when I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. And when I go out, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. And when I come home, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's coming home to you. And when I'm dreaming, well I know I'm gonna dream, I'm gonna dream about the time when I'm with you. But I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500. Everyone in the world, I was watching the federal budget fail. Uh, it looked like government was going to shut down. I, they had sent me, she said that she had lost all the positions. She wasn't going to be able to fill any of them. Sorry about that, but you lost your job. So I thought it, that's the reason I had lost it. But then like everyone, I watched Washington live in D.C. And at like 9 p.m. at the last minute, the budget went through. So I was all excited. And then, so the next following Monday, I called her and said, okay, I'm ready to start. And she wouldn't answer my calls. They wouldn't answer my phone calls. They wouldn't answer my emails. They wouldn't answer anything. So I went into panic mode, started looking for work, started looking for a job. Uh, went to the Transgender Law Center, though, because different employers that were interviewing me were like, you should talk to somebody about this. So I went to TLC, and we just started an initial inquiry. And what we found was that um, they did, in fact, didn't kill the positions. They actually kept the positions. But... They hired somebody that was unqualified. They had never been in the military, never been policed, never been trained. And um, subsequently, they also came to me and said, you might have a legitimate complaint. But unfortunately, because you're transgender, it's not covered as a complaint. I had a bunch of different symptoms tied to sleep, tied to appetite, weight gain, mood that had sort of increased in severity over a year. And one of the things that my doctor told me to do was check myself into a hospital next time I had my round of symptoms. So I checked into a hospital and even just within the check-in process, I was misgendered. I finally spoke to the doctor and he came in and was speaking to me as if I was a 13-year-old girl and all of my symptoms were surrounding hormones. And when I started talking about hormones, this doctor in the hospital actually looked at me and said, oh, what do hormones do? I didn't think hormones did anything. And he actually checked me out of the hospital. He said, you know, I think that you're just bleeding a lot right now. Um, fast forward three days later from this hospital visit, and I was diagnosed with invasive hormonal breast cancer that tested 99% positive for estrogen. And I think that if I had had the same list of symptoms, but was a cisgendered man, I would have been treated completely differently. 